Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... The Backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes sure. easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. Wait, uh -huh. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around ten years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I, uh, 
didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. Hey, no Valentine. Luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. Ooh, we can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. He'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless.
Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff, see if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Head on inside. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work.
San Francisco sunlights. I'm telling you, Kel that nose for a brand, is second right. to none. Okay, boy, let's track him. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
dog needs found something. You know the drill. Gwyneth Stout. One of his creature comforts. I'm telling you, that nose is second to none. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. <laughs> Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Lost the scent, boy? Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. You really got taken apart. Critical systems non-functional. Hostile human. Too powerful.
feeling. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Yeah, if it is 
visit my old friend, the Frozen TV. Last time we met, he was frozen up to the teeth in Apple Cobbler. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. But I don't need a roommate. Leave. of making it to Diamond City. After that, figure the code off and chew you up like that. <laughs> my son. Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. Yeah, we'll the stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. No! That's not true. It, it can't be! I've come so far! Yes. You have. And believe it or not, I'm actually kind of sorry you wasted your time. In another life, you probably would have been a good father. 
But here, in this terrible reality, you just don't get that chance. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know, in a hundred years... Mm-hmm. Most efficient attack. They're here somewhere. Violence. John, that bastard won't be hurting anyone else. We should take a look. Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back, bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way, talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever.
deep into that darkness long I stood there, wondering, fearing. Hey. Go ahead. Nick. What do you need? Your thoughts? Flying that ship into the heart of the Commonwealth. Mark my words, the Brotherhood's here to start a war. Oh, nothing. All right. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son, but that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over... Uh -huh. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Mm-hmm. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault? Mm -hmm. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory. If anyone could get a dead. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? Whether we're riding this crazy... I have to go to the... Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name. It's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get... Don't worry. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. 